this video we're going to start looking at Air Force and a little bit of the triple option. I don't run a ton of triple option or anything like that. I ran it when I was in high school, but I really just don't know a whole lot about it. Just looking into it, trying to learn a little bit. Love to hear some of the coaching points and different things that you guys see in, on this film. Hopefully it can I kind of help you out a little bit, at least give you some film to look at. If you're looking at triple option, maybe how to play it, different things like that. So right here on this look is pretty interesting, going triple option in this direction. There's the dive, they're running a bit of a veer. So right there, they're gonna double there to the back side, tackle's trying to work up, and they're in that unbalanced set, so he's actually gonna arc out right there. So they're reading here for the pull, and pitch right there, they do a great job of understanding what's going on. Just as far as the scheme right here, these guys are scooping right here, trying to cut off, they're gonna double there to the back side. This tackle is actually gonna slip right there up to this linebacker. Leave this defensive end for the quarterback to read. This guy right here is the pitch read right there. So run a little bit of veer so you can see he steps off that midline. He's letting that back hit it right there in B gap. There's an A gap player. You want to get to that next gap. Let your guy run straight through there. Downhill. You can see this end is free. Squeezes pretty hard. Doesn't quite take the full back, but right there you can see how he squeezes. His eyes were probably on that guy. Gets a pull. They're able to get around. And now here's your pitch read. He understands right there that he's got to try to feather this right here to make it slow down so his buddies can run to it, get off blocks. And right there, just a little bit of a D. Whenever this is running at high efficiency, really difficult to stop. Again, we'll take one more look at it. On the back side, you can see these guys cutting right here, not letting those guys get to those inside gaps. 44 right here squeezes just good play here by Boise. They got single high safety right here. These guys rolling the alley, all that. And obviously trying to get the misdirection here. There's your dive, somewhat of a midline. These guys are working their path up. There's your dive read. There's your pitch read. So right there, he's squeezing really hard. Probably has eyes on that back. So there's the pull. He actually takes the fullback. Now we're running that speed option right here with an arc leading out right there. There's your pitch, and there's your pitch read. And what really takes place right here, he's feathering. He's working out, not wanting him to pitch it. And that section does a great job of running this alley and getting square. So right there, He's about a yard behind the line of scrimmage. He's right there two or three yards away. He's breaking down. He's coming to balance, and he's making a play on a really good football player. Could have pitched this thing, but obviously if you're pitching off schedule, and right there pitching off the safety, now you have this outside linebacker right there that can make it a negative player, a turnover. So right there, good job understanding the situation there by the quarterback. Trying to get vertical. Hopefully you can make this safety miss and possibly get a little bit more downhill. With him hitting it right there, the alley should be as tight to that as you possibly can. So now you can get square and possibly cut one way or the other and get about three or four if your pitch read is widening right there like 52 was. Uh, but great tackle there by the safety. Good job at running the alley and making a play. Right, here's a good look of what I would probably think would be somewhat of their base, kind of a, a midline type look. Get a bit of a double team there to the backside. These guys scoop in here on the back side as you're seeing those guys are ripping their running right there make sure they can cut off the most dangerous in their inside gap where he's working up to this safety hopefully working outside shoulder he's arcing out there to the alley for whatever's rolling from deep whether it's a safety whether it's a corner whatever it is he's coming off blocking right there there's your dive read there's your pitch read right there on the outside of course he widens out so that's got to be a hand and right here they do a great job of just kind of stalemating this possibly slant in that direction so they know it's a hand when it goes that way and they're able to get him on the ground for about one or two but right there great stalemate but you can see what they're looking for possibly a squeeze right there could get a pull he's working out right there with this arc so that could have possibly been a pull if he squeezes and then run in that alley with a quarterback but right there obviously a dive read uh, i guess one or two trying to stay in front of the sticks but easy read just weren't able to quite win right there on the line of scrimmage Here's a look here on first and 10 against Army. So a team that's probably seen the triple option quite a bit. And right here you can see these guys scooping right here. Trying to get to that second level, leave the widest guy. So right there scooping. And right there you can see front side. He's just going to work up to that linebacker. He arcs and actually goes to the safety. He's arcing work for the alley right there. And again, it looks like they're almost getting off the midline, even though they know that they're running through this B gap with those down blocks. And right here, this is your read for the dive. That's your read there for the pitch. So those guys are going to... Avoid them and try to arc or if there is a pull. Or if you're looking at your read, he actually looks like he's slanting away from the quarterback in the dive. So right there, easy hand read and falls forward for about four to five yards, which is really all you're asking for right there. Make it where these guys have to squeeze extremely hard to get that pull. So right there, he actually slants away. Let's that thing dive down for it for about four or five. 
stay ahead of the sticks there. And he's going to lead to second and medium, then hopefully a third and one, and they can convert that and stay on the field. On the time of possession right there and not let your offense on the field is what they're trying to do right there. Really like this look. Bit of a midline right here, and they've got the double wing. They're doubling there to the back side, base, base. This wing right here, he's flying in there to the play side linebacker. There's your read for the dive. There's your read for the pitch, and they're actually arcing there with the tackle, coming in and cracking right here. And if you're looking at this end, he actually slants out into the outside gap, so they're able to release with that wing back right up to that linebacker. It's a really good block right there. Downhill with your big fullback, and he's hitting that thing, getting a good gain there against Army. So obviously a little bit of a, a midline, a little bit of a read. If he were to squeeze down, you have a chance for that quarterback just to replace right there. May not even be really looking to pitch. Might just squeeze down there and just get in behind that off back that's rolling in right there so you can create uh, just an easy double option there. A little bit of physicality and somewhat of an ISO block right there. But right there, got the hand. Good play there by Air Force. Not exactly sure what the reads are right here, but they're actually arcing out right here. Both of these guys, the tackle and Titan actually work this guy. This defense lineman DN is free. And right here you can see, squeeze extremely hard. That's going to be a pull read right there. So now he's running. I would have thought that this probably would have been the pitch read. He could have gone and pinned, and then that guy could have arced into the alley. Uh, but right here it looks like both of them arc. These linebackers step in. And then right there, once the quarterback releases and tries to get into this alley, these guys are free because this tackle had arced instead of worked that gap. So right there, they're running that alley. Quarterback's anxious. He's thinking, this is really not my pitch guy. I got to make sure that everything's safe out here. As one thing as a quarterback, it's usually bad news if you're pitching off the guy that's not really the pitch guy because there might be another guy free. The guy that you're pitching, supposed to be pitching off of might be free to hit the back or possibly knock the ball down or whatever it is. So right here, as you see, he gets the pull. He doesn't really like it because it's not exactly what he was looking for. And I can glance out and know, hey, that pitch really read that I thought it was going to be is actually blocked. I do have the option to pitch that thing out there if I have to. It would be somewhat safe, so right there he just gives it up because he's getting pursuit from the back side. Gives it to his guy, see if he can make a positive play of it. Can't right there. Good tackling. Good pursuit there by Army. Uh, but right here I think it's a little bit of a bust. Probably what I would have thought it would have been is this guy working up to there. He probably arcs around to there. He arcs to that alley. There's your pitch read. There's your dive read. And these guys obviously scooping there on the back side. I thought this was a really interesting look. Doubling there up. And this tackle is what really makes it interesting. Because that would be your read right there for the dive. And it looks like he actually puts hands on him and pushes him into that gap. And then he works up to that linebacker. So right there, just watching this tackle. Again, he pushes what I would think would be the read. Pushes him right there. Then he knows I'm getting up on this linebacker. And when he gets up there, he's just running. So right there, he just puts that one hand on him. He's strong arms and he's running. Trying to get out in front. It creates an explosive play. So if you're running this back looking at the read, quarterback opens up, midline type look. He squeezes down even though he's getting shoved. He's getting up. So there's the pull. There's your pitch. That outside backer, the 3 4, works down. He's your pitch read. And again, right there, a little bit of a, trying to miss direction right there. That back's going there and he's going there. Now he's working the alley for the play side back. So right there, pull, pitch read, great pitch relationship, great job getting wide enough to circle the defense right there. Working that outside shoulder to widen that alley. Hits that thing with a lot of momentum circling defense right there. Makes a safety miss. Explosive play. Good play there for it by Air Force. Good execution. Not sure if this is a call there for that tackle. If this is just one of those things where he was trying to go that inside gap. Gives him a good shove. And now he's running. Trying to get in front of that linebacker. But a really good play there by that right tackle. Making something happen. Whether that was one of those things that was coached or not. This look right here. They have a little bit of bluff motion. They bring him here. And he's going to end up working back to the alley. Here's your pitch. There's your dive right there. And if you're looking at it, these guys right here are going to double team. They're going right there. He's basing. Everybody else, their inside gap, they're reading here for the dive. And the pitch is right there on the outside. And as you look at it, it almost looks like a midline track as far as the back. As far as what the quarterback does, you see him, he pops almost off the midline. But the track actually leads guard blocks down. He actually slips into that B gap really tight right there. So pretty interesting there as far as the angle and where he's hitting. Because if you would have gone out a little bit, it would have got close to this end. So right there going downhill, hoping that that thing is going to get pushed that direction. He's able to keep that thing tight. Of course, if he would have squeezed, if this thing would have squeezed extremely hard, then you would have gotten a pull. We're right there, pretty good job here by the tackle as well. Not letting him just squeeze that and stay square. Works through that, staying wide, staying big. Up to that linebacker right there. Not a huge game, but right there you can see fullback hitting it, scraping that tight off those down blocks and everything right there. Good read. This end is still pretty wide. 
probably could have pulled that and had a chance right there to read it, but being as wide as he was, he didn't squeeze extremely hard. He falls forward, he gets about four, possibly five yards right there, just with a fullback. Same look here out of the backfield again, ball snapped this time, both guys still going towards the fullback. If you're looking at it again, here's your read as far as the dive's gonna be this end, and there's your pitch read on the edge. Basically, he's gonna double team there out. He's gonna work, try to stay square up to that linebacker. Don't let him dictate anything. So good job right there again, being strong. Works right up to that linebacker. It looks like he's flown over the top right here. If you're looking at it from the quarterback perspective again, almost getting off that midline, allowing him to scrape tight off those down blocks. And if you're looking at this end as far as the give or pull read, he is so wide, he swims outside. You got two guys in that gap hand. Should be a good gain right there. Again, hitting that thing downhill. Almost makes a safety miss right there. Gets about eight yards. So downhill, he jumps out of the way. He doesn't squeeze hard like he's supposed to. So it's an easy crease right there for that fullback. Great job for, by the tackle getting up. And pretty good job here with this double team into that backside linebacker. He's jumping around there as well. So able to get up to that linebacker pretty easily. Get on the safeties fast right there with that triple option. Interesting look right here on a fourth and one. You can see everybody's tightened up inside these gaps. And if you're looking at it, these guys actually arc out. Backs, both of them still go that way, but he ends up leading the alley. There's your triple right there. He's getting downhill. In short yards, they think these guys are going to be extremely aggressive, and that's what happens right here. Flies in, smokes the fullback. Quick pitch right there because what they're doing is they're pulling off this guy, pitching off this guy. That's the walk down backer. So right there, squeeze extremely hard. Pull, 42 right there in the quarterback's face. Pitch, great job, great awareness there by the running back. Able to get to a pitch relationship. Obviously, it's not perfect because it happens so quickly. Uh, but right there, that's really good as far as being able to pull pitch that. And now they're out in space. Now, obviously, just based off an alignment, you would think, hey, this is a really good chance to be a quick pull pitch. And they create an explosive play right there, getting everybody out in space for Air Force. But again, short yardage right here, this triple lock right here, the back action. Again, nobody motions early, but as soon as it's snapped, if you're looking at it, you'll see both these wing backs end up going that direction towards the fullback. But then they end up reversing out right here. Again, he's going to the alley. He's diving right there, and then he's going to the pitch. And as far as the scheme and the blocking right here, it actually looks like they're doing a bit of the midline. There's the dive read. There's the pitch read, reading the end. And everybody's just basically slipping up to the second level. You're seeing basically going to double work back there. He's slipping up to that backer, arcing right there with the tight end, and he'll arc as well to the alley. So if you get a pitch, really good job. And if you're looking at this live speed, reading this guy, this happens extremely fast. Boom, he flies in there. He takes the fullback. So now he's extending it out. He had squeezed down with his tackle trying to release up to this linebacker. So right there, quick pull. He gets upfield, quick pitch right there. Now ball's in space. They got edged right here a little bit as you're looking. That was that tackle. This end getting hands on, not allowing him to get straight up to that linebacker and keep him from getting out leveraged is really what makes this play because he's reaching right there. He's not able to quite get on the outside shoulder and he float, falls in right there and only makes a tackle for about a yard. Of course, if you're talking to this guy that's running the alley, the swing back in motion here just a little bit and then works back. Don't pass up anybody right there. I'd probably say, hey, if you can see that, just put a shoulder on that. Leave that safety to run the alley. Hopefully, we can make him miss if you see that linebacker running over the top right there. That linebacker makes a great play, but it obviously was helped out here by this end. They got hands on this guy. This tackle doesn't allow him just to free release up to that linebacker. So, a lot of good plays there by Wyoming's defense. Able to get a guy on the ground there in space.